Hey guys, I woke up like this. Morning is my least favorite time of the day, but it's a good opportunity to show you a fresh clean face and kind of do a little tutorial for work makeup. That's sassy, but understated as well. So you're gonna wanna start with your moisturizer. So instead of using a heavy cream moisturizer, I find that makes your makeup look tricky during the day, I use this Mario Badescu Rose Water. It's with aloe herbs and rose water. And basically you could actually use this to refresh throughout the day. It just gives your skin that extra boost during dehydrating conditions especially. Next is your most important step, which is your sunscreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that liberally because I'm tired of getting age spots the size of this. I don't really use a primer because I find that the sunscreen and the moisturizer have kind of created a primer for me already. So I'm gonna bounce straight into my favorite product, the Maroon Color Wheel. This is going to be to correct those age spots, the bags underneath my eyes, any discoloration in the skin. Here's the brush. Color wheel, yellow and orange, underneath the eye and up and up and kind of a little triangle situation. Now remember, people will not see this pigment color. It's just gonna basically blend in with what your skin has already got going on. Taking up on the purple or lilac color, highlighting over the lips and any little age spots. Just wherever I wanna make it a little bit brighter. That's cute, right? Taking damp beauty blender, and blending it all out. Okay, so now I'll grab my 20 brush from Anastasia. It's got two heads on it. One is for brushing the brows. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Just give the brows a brush up never down and then I'm going to go over them with this brow primer it's a base pencil for your eyebrows so I just can't give this a quick glide over my brows it's clear so you don't have to worry about any color and this just will keep them in place and hold the products that you put on top of that even better brush Perfect. Then you're gonna grab another Anastasia product called Brow Wiz. I like to use caramel because medium brown kind of makes me look a little bit witchy. So basically you're just gonna kind of start with a natural line of the hair and make short strokes. And don't really go over too much your natural hair, but just fill in those gaps. So you can see I have a little gap over here, so I'm just gonna kind of fill that in. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go back over it with the uh, brush. Okay, so once we've done that, pick up on your brush again and go back over. They already look so much better. I like to use the Pro Pencil Primer and Color Corrector as well underneath my brows, and this basically will give them even more definition. So I just blend with this brush. So blend that product into your skin right below the brow. You get a little bit in the brow, don't worry, we're gonna fix that later. Just make sure it looks nice and clean. Now everybody has, you know, it happens that we don't have perfectly shaped eyebrows and maybe we never will because <laughs> we're just born that way. Um, but. I certainly don't have two eyebrows that match, and that's okay with me, just as long as they look clean and well groomed on each side. So for right now, that's our last step for eyebrows. So already you're just kind of seeing the frame of the face start to come forward. So now we're gonna go ahead and pick up on our foundation for the day. I'm gonna be using Too Faced in Light Beige, Born This Way. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple drops. Place them on the skin strategically. There we go. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend that in. I 
I like to use this one by NARS. It's called medium custard. So I just go ahead and apply it in dots and turn it down into a triangle, not too far down. Just like this, all against my eye, up against the natural progression of my eye. Like a little alien invasion. And they're taking you up to their spaceship. A little bit down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on top of the lip, a little bit below, and a little bit here in the center of your forehead. For this, I wanna go ahead and start with the bigger blender brush. Go ahead and pat in. Now you're not wiping, right? You're, you're patting, so we're gonna pat. Pat, 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 pat. There we go. Go the other side. Just pat in and blend. Now, to get really up in those corners of the eye, I like to use the little beauty blender and just make sure that everything is blended out in the smaller spaces. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and start on a little bit of shadow. Now for work, like I said, you don't really wanna do too much, just a little subtle hint. So I'm gonna pick up on this Pro Blending Brush at Sephora, it's a fluffy brush. I love this chocolate bar, bittersweet or semi-sweet palette. It's literally my favorite palette. I love the peanut butter color, which is this kind of like neutral color here, neutral orangey color. And I just like to put it right in the crease to kind of give my eye that definition. And kind of it's contour, essentially contouring the eye. Just to make it look a little bit, little bit deeper. Now to blend this out, because this is a transition shade, I just grab one of these brushes. This is MAC 217. I've just had this one a while. So I like to pick up on a little bit on the nougat, sometimes a little bit on the coconut cream or the butter pecan, just depending on the look I'm going for. I'm just gonna keep it really simple today. So pick up a little bit on the nougat and the coconut cream, a little bit of both. And then I'm just gonna start from where that peanut butter color is hitting the top of my brow bone and start blending in from there and just into the top of, or into the bottom of my eyebrow, excuse me. So we just don't want that harsh line that the peanut butter had created. So as you can see now, it kind of blends a little bit better. Same thing on the other eye. And then I'm going to pick up the MAC 242 brush. It's a flat brush. I'm going to grab my little Anastasia palette here. This color is Peach Sorbet. It's a little bit metallic. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product on the brush and then come into the corner and just lay it flat and pull it into the center of the eye. Kind of using more of a blending technique. Just subtle just so it's real subtle, see that? It's just very subtle. Same thing on the other eye. And now that we're done with that, we're gonna take a crease brush. This is MAC 286. It is kind of more of a blender brush, but I like to use this brush because it gives a softer effect instead of that harsh line. And I'm going to pick up on Truffled from the uh, Semi Sweet palette. Very lightly dust, and then go into the crease, just super lightly, just so it gives that extra little pop of color there. Just on the crease. Not, not too much on the inside, so you're gonna wanna keep it on the outside. And then take back your brush that you used previously for the peanut butter color, the base color, the transition color, and just blend right in. It's all about blending. So we're going to pick up on the same brush that we used earlier, the MAC 217, and pick a little bit more up on the nougat and coconut cream and just blend that out once again. So now that your eyeshadow is complete, 
you can go ahead and either do like a liquid liner or you can rim a little bit of your waterline if you'd like with a black pencil. Personally, I just kind of want to be a little bit more natural today. So I'm just going to rim the uh, waterline of my eye with some black. Now be very gentle not to mess up your concealer. You can always blend it back out like this if you'd like. A lot of you may use finishing powder. I find that it really dries out my skin. So my skin's already so dry that it's already soaking in a lot of the product. So I tend not to use it. But if you do want to use it, I would recommend using the Perfect Face. I love their setting powder cream puff. That is my favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the bronzer, into the contour. My favorite contour brush is this one by Chanel. It is the powder contour brush. Today, I am going to be using this Chanel Lightweight Compact Makeup Radiant Softness and Comfort SPF 10, and it's in 50 beige. So it's basically I've got an SPF in it. It's also darker, obviously, than my own skin. Brush it on in there, give it a blow, and then you're gonna to wanna to angle it this way. Make sure you look at where your natural cheekbone starts from your ear down. And you don't wanna to come to near your, your, your lip. A lot of people do make that mistake. Same thing with the other side. And then of course, underneath your chin and blending it out. I do not use any on my forehead because I have a small forehead. But if you do have a bigger forehead, remember you're number three. So start with the top, contour here and here. So number three. But for me, we just use half a three. Now, because we're using powders instead of creams, I like to use this Morphe brush, E7. This kind of is really good to blend out the contour that I just did. Just make sure it blends in with the rest of my face. And there's no harsh lines. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do blush. I like to use this brush. This I bought a really long time ago. Still have it, still works. It's perfect. I'm gonna be using this. It's the Too Faced Love Flush Palette. Yay, I love this product. Look how many cute blushes they have. Isn't that cute? So I think today, since we have a more bronzy look on the eye, I'm gonna use Baby Love and just a little bit of Your Love Is King together. So blend it together, apples of your cheeks. Now, this might look crazy. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. So after you've done that, go ahead and take your slightly damp beauty blender and blend out. So now that you've done that, you're gonna wanna finish your brows. So grab your brow pencil, the number 20 Anastasia, and again, just brush up to make sure everything's in place. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab either your dip brow or your brow powder duo, whichever you prefer. I like the dip brow. So I'm using medium brown, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of my brush, just a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the most product is gonna go on the outside of the eye. So you wanna start with your outside corner of the brow and then go back in. And fill in basically everything that the brow is mist essentially always go with the hair follicle don't just paint use a guide you can really see the difference there how to find there you really don't need a lot of product for this and sometimes I even combine two colors so I'll use caramel and medium brown kind of like mixed together One more time, comb up. This will 
harmoniously blend all your brows together. So once we've done that, we're almost finished. We need to curl our eyelashes and do our lips. We're gonna start with an eyelash curler. I use Shu Amora's. It's pretty old as well, but still works just fine. I use Go Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. So now that we've done that, I'm thinking that maybe I should have shown you guys how to contour your nose. I don't really like to do that for work, but I can show you real quick of how I would do that. And it doesn't matter at this step, this point in time. And just pick up on the same bronzer you're using for your cheekbones and grab on a more flat, but still a little bit fluffy brush. Large eyeshadow brush works well. This is number 25 by Chanel. Pick up a little bit of product and you're gonna wanna start at the bone that is your eye socket bone right here and just come down in little little strokes it's just a little obvious at work especially with like the bright lights but if you do it right it can definitely work to your benefit so connect kind of with your eyebrows come down and don't don't paint this entire side of your nose just stay real close to the inside. And then you're gonna wanna shorten the nose <clears throat> if you have a longer nose like I do, here at the bottom. And then I kinda just blend it out with the same brush. So there's a little bit of a nose contour for you. I have a crooked nose, so it is what it is. And I grab my Anastasia palette, contour palette. I grab my precision concealer brush from Sephora. It's fluffy, but longer bristles. Pick up on the shimmer product and just go in with the tip of my nose. Kind of makes it pop at the end there. A Little bit, I take a little bit of the other color, the soft white color, a little bit of these two. And then just come down the, the uh, nose bone. And then of course, dust your cupid's bow. I wouldn't really recommend going full force for the lip department, like those big puppy lips for work unless you really want to. We're gonna use the Kylie Lip Kit today in Dolce K. And remember just below the natural line of your lips. Starting from the outside and coming in. Fill in a little bit on the sides. And again in the middle. I really do love this lip pencil. Then we're gonna come in with the liquid lipstick. Just make sure you shake it up there a little bit and start filling in from the sides and coming in. So there you have it, Kylie Lip Kit, all done. You are ready to go to work. If you do wanna put a final security blanket on it all, if you're gonna have a really long or sweaty day at work, stressful day at work, I would recommend this Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a makeup setting spray. Don't spray too much of this. Kind of put your hand over your face like this. Mist. Open your eyes immediately so your mascara doesn't get all over your skin. And you are set to roll. So there's that look for you. Really simple, but kind of sassy day at the office look. So hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye.